Welcome to the Mark Wicked News, I'm Iranka the Rosiellum. This is gonna be the horniest news cycle that we've ever had and I would have liked to make a horny joke right here but in the first 30 seconds of a YouTube video if I make a joke like that it's gonna get demonetized so instead our top story today tits and legs um yeah okay so you might have been thinking ah he's been joking no what the fuck is this D do you see that do I can't be the only one who thinks, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, so, um, Natsuki Uncow. Need to remind you guys that uh, Natsuki, all of her card art and some of her, I think all of her memorial art as well, has been drawn by the same artist that does Senran Kagura, which is like big titted edgy anime girls, um, like hentai and stuff. <sighs> okay, sure. Um, what does she actually get so far? Well, we have to, I'm going to have to make a video about her. Uh, and I'm going to have to make jokes about, you know, the absolutely two ginormous blast discs that she has. More importantly, though, she apparently just gets MP restored to self on her Magia. Only to self on Magia, which is like, yeah, that's kind of terrible. So I assume she's going to be just as useless as she already is. And if you like Natsuki... Then first off, are you lying to me? Because I'm on the Discord and no one likes Natsuki. I asked people, absolutely no one seems to like Natsuki at all. Not even a little bit. So that's interesting. Moving on though, now that we've talked about tits, let's talk about leg fetish. <sighs> Before I go to actual Muri, the character, let's talk about her event. Because this text right here, you, like, every single event has a little bit of a synopsis. It just says in a, like one or two lines, this is what this event is about. Let's see what this event is about. Her foot fetish. Progress with a story struggling to fix a foot fetish. I, I don't get it paid enough to deal with this shit. Like I don't get paid, I, I get paid like 10 bucks a month maybe from YouTube by the way. It's like nothing, which is not enough. To deal with this bullshit. Jokes aside though, I mean, it kind of is a joke. Um, I don't mind. <laughs> to be honest, I don't mind. Like, yeah, it's 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 a bit it's a bit weird, isn't it? But at the same time, it's it's all just for comedy, right? They're playing it for comedy. The event item is just illustrations of legs. Like literal like lewd leg pictures are the event item. I don't have any joke for that. Uh, apparently, here you can see her fawning over legs. This is what she looks like. And this is her also fawning over legs. And I think the text right here says something like, you have the greatest legs. I'm not even joking. I think, that, you know what? Let's do it live. Let's do it live. The legs are the best in the world. That's what I said. So, <laughs> dude, it's a, okay. It's a double tower. It's a, it's a double tower, okay? It lasts for how long? From the, from the 19th to the 29th, so for 10 days. 10 days of foot fetish, apparently. It's no not November, right? How are you How are you doing this in no not November when you have foot fetish and tits? And I hope that no one actually combines that with... These are underage characters. And this is exactly the problem. These are underage characters. Why are you giving them foot fetish? And why are you doing this to underage characters? Are you serious? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. You can do better than putting this. On underage characters. It needs to be said. It needs to be said. Yeah, that's basically it. There's also like the special enhancements is just for Miori, so basically no one. Point is though that she's also being released in the gacha. And I said this recently with Sun. Is that it's kind of weird that they're releasing Sun without Miori because they're kind of a pair. Um and now we know why they're a pair, because Miori really, really likes Sun's legs. And also she likes to be dominated by Sun. She basically says so in the story. She's like, son, please dominate me. <sighs> this... The writers need to chill out. I think the writers need to just chill out for a bit. Anyway, as a character, what is she like? Well, first off, she looks like she's about to pop some sick dance move. Or maybe she's about to fall over, I don't know. And she gives... Like, attack up on connect, charge disc damage up, and anti-evade. She has three charge discs. She's a charger, she has attacker, she's water. Her SE active is like charge disc damage up and charge disc damage received up. Which means enemies take more damage from charge discs or something. 
which means that uh, you actually have a use for it. There actually is a use for it, okay? So what, what is it gonna do? Is it gonna get a level one? They're gonna keep her at level one. They're gonna keep her at one slot and they, she's just gonna be put in into a, like any Kimochi where it charges really good and she's gonna use turn one, use this active and then she dies. Now the question is, okay, that's that's a strategy that just whales are gonna do. Just put her in turn one, she's gonna die immediately. But can she do anything else? No. No, she actually can't. The rest of her kit is actually kind of useless. She has MP boost, which is actually the same note that everyone else has. So the fact that this is being advertised right here probably means that she doesn't have anything else good. She has charge damage up and stuff. Okay, she has charge combo, charge count up plus three. Guess what? We have another Aqua Attacker Chargers character that gets charge combo up plus four. It's Tanabatayachio. And Tanabatayachio actually has charge draw active, which makes it really good in mirrors and makes it actually one of the like top three best mirrors character for ranked mirrors right now. Um, so she doesn't have any charge conservation on her normal kit, but she gets it on double for two turns to herself. Which Tanabatiachu also gets. Um, but her doppel, Miri's doppel, is also attribute strengthened, right? Yeah, so it's Tanabatiachu's. Um, so basically, either you're a whale and you're gonna do the level 1 sacrifice Miri strat on like one of the Kimochis, or if you're not a whale and you're a regular player, then just use Tanabatiachu if you have her. And even if you don't have Tanabate Yashio, you can use basically any other for, um, charges character that has been released in this year. Like Mitsune maybe. You can just use Mitsune for this instead. So um, you can probably even use level 100 Kaoru instead of Miyuri. So you know what this means, right? You know what this means. It means that my rolls are safe and your rolls are probably also safe. Unless of course you really like rolling for uh, Miyuri. Maybe you really like the enemy and you like, like rolling for Miuri, then sure, you can go ahead and roll for her first because of course, if you like the character roll for them. Also, here more gay stuff, uh, I mean more like fetish stuff, I mean just Moria, okay? Gives damage up for 7 and I think this is also anti-evade or something, right? Actually, I'm not quite sure. Point is, eh, it looks alright. Uh, and the passive one is also attack up and also anti evade. You can kind of tell there's a lot of anti evade on this. Uh, I, I don't know why specifically anti evade, but yeah, I guess she has anti evade, which is fine. Maybe they gave her anti evade because. She, does Chiaru have, have evade? Because, you know, she cut Chiaru's arm off. Maybe this was supposed to be like a sort of meme that Chiaru has evade and she has anti evade. I don't think Chiaru has evade. Anyway, point is, um, a lot of anti evade, but not a whole lot of other stuff, so not even the Memoria are that good. They're decent, okay? Bridge brings us to the end of this news. So this news is... It's not bad news, right? You would never say this is bad news. It's just... It's just not what people expected to have this and then that. But, you know, we gotta get through it because I have a good feeling that next up there's probably gonna be a rerun of maybe some Christmas units or whatever, maybe, maybe Rikara and Rihanna, who knows? But point is, we're gonna get closer to Christmas. So if you're really not sure Christmas is gonna come soon, people are gonna say, well actually, yeah, mostly I said that, that probably it's gonna be Masakoko. We've seen so many hints at Masakoko, not just recently, but like for the last four years. We gotta get them at some point, right? They've been teased for four years, especially recently, like even more recently. We gotta get them at some point. It's, it's no, it's impossible that they've been teased for such a long time without actually happening. So gotta get them probably for Christmas. So maybe, maybe that's where we're gonna see it. But this is it, at least for the news. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.